Just one week after the release of Season 7, milestones are being nerfed. Captaincy is now balanced. Okay, so there's been a whole dev article going into detail about all this, so if you're interested in that, then just keep watching. If you just want to know the milestone requirements, I'll have a timestamp on screen now, so you can skip to that and you'll know exactly what's been changed. Okay then, so kicking things off with the article, this is from Shelley Preston, who's a lead designer on Sea of Thieves. Ahoy Captains! First of all, I'd like to extend a massive thank you to all the Captains of Adventure who have set sail since the launch of Season 7. It's been a joy for the team to see your ship's name and their stories beginning to come to life on the Sea of Thieves. We've also seen and heard the sentiment around the new milestone system, so I wanted to explain the thinking behind the system and announce some changes. What's the intention behind the milestone system? The intention of this system is to enable you to track the way you uniquely play and the things you like to engage with the most, and then give you the rewards for that, letting you customise your ship to become a true reflection of your playstyle and journey. In terms of overall time investment and balance required to progress milestones, it is intended to be vastly different to commendations or seasonal progression, in that this is long-term progression, representing your journey over not just a single season, but many. With that in mind, Players should expect that milestone progression is slower than some of the existing progression systems. Why don't milestones track things that did in the past? Milestones are not awarded for your deeds you have already completed, primarily because milestones are designed to be a progression system specific to captaincy. They are actions that you have completed while aboard a captain's ship, much like pirate legend commendations that require you to be a pirate legend to unlock them. If you play on a non-captain ship, you do not progress milestones. In addition to this, the team have been hard at work implementing a huge number of stats behind the scenes, which has been a significant undertaking, in order to correctly track and award all these milestones for you, your crew, and your ships. We have not had the ability to track many of these actions until now, so it would have been impossible to retroactively award everything. The fairest and most consistent approach was to have no milestones be retroactive, rather than having a mix of retroactive and newly tracked stats. When we were originally considering the system, we did discuss and carefully consider the limitation of not being able to award everything retroactively. We ultimately felt that the introduction of milestones still has a huge positive impact that makes Sea of Thieves sessions more rewarding over the long term, especially as we're rewarding core content that will always be a part of the experience. Why aren't the rewards easy to achieve? Milestones never end, as they are uncapped, allowing you to progress them forever. You can't complete a milestone. At certain classes, though, you can unlock rewards. In terms of the balance of where rewards lie, we have rewards that are given to the alignment itself, meaning you can do anything within that alignment to get them. The trophy items of trinkets, pictures and plaques are given for specific milestones themselves, and are therefore intended to showcase dedication to a particular activity. The intention was not to expect every player to have everything, but for players to have those items that represent a chosen playstyle, unique to you and your crew. We've heard a lot of feedback from players around wanting more long-term goals and objectives, and the tier system for trophies felt like such a good solution to this. Rather than creating completely unique trophies for the upper tiers that would have fell out of reach for some players, there is a small reflection of your personal level of dedication in the quality of its base, frame, or plaque, while the trophy item itself stays the same. This felt like a good balance of fairly unlocking the customizations you want on your journey, while still accommodating those players who really want long-term progression to be represented. The tiers are a meaningful icing on the cake. However, that being said, we feel that there are definitely changes that we can make to address the feedback around milestones being too much of an investment without compromising the original vision for these as a longer-term progression system. Some of this is from player feedback, but since we launched, we have also had the ability to track how swiftly players are moving through milestones, and we can see areas that are not aligning with the time we anticipated. Some of the most vocal feedback we heard has been around timed activities, like sitting and sleeping. When we were building the milestone system, we really wanted all playstyles to be represented. For instance, an alignment like the Rogue represents those who enjoy the whimsical charm of life aboard ship, the role players. We wanted to include these players in a way that felt meaningful, and not have the rogue be significantly faster to progress than the other alignments, so that a legendary rogue didn't feel like a lesser accomplishment. That's the reason we balance timings to be high, but we've heard feedback and now have lowered these to be more achievable through passive play. Okay, so here we go, the changes to the milestones. 
The following changes are being made to pirate milestones. In the Gold Seeker, Treasure Sold is decreasing from 450 to 400. Treasure Sold to the Gold Hoarders, Merchant Alliance and Order of Souls respectively is decreasing from 75 to 70. Gold Earned is increasing from 90,000 to 200,000. Treasure Sword to the Reaper's Bones is increasing from 75 to 150. The Voyager. Quests completed is decreasing from 20 to 15. North Core Miles Sailed is decreasing from 200 to 100. Islands Visited is decreasing from 15 to 10. Shipwrecks Visited and Robots Docked respectively are decreasing from 3 to 2. On the Emissary. Gold Earned is a Gold Hauler's Emissary, Merchant Alliance Emissary, Order of Souls Emissary, and Athena's Fortune Emissary, respectively, are increasing from a 30,000 to a 100,000. Gold Earned as a Reaper's Bones Emissary is increasing from 30,000 to 200,000. Wow. Looks like my, um, my video on the best way to level up alignments is going to be flawed now. The Hunter. Provisions Cooked is decreasing from 35 to 25. Provisions Eaten is decreasing from 75 to 50. All variants of Fish Court are decreasing from 25 to 10. Hurrah! It's now actually doable. The Feared. Cannons Fired is decreasing from 100 to 75. Ghost Ships Vanquished is decreasing from 25 to 15. Skeleton Ships Vanquished is decreasing from 3 to 2. Skeleton Lords Vanquished is also decreasing from 3 to 2. Sharks Vanquished is decreasing from 45 to 10, big one there. Sunken Kingdom Treasuries Conquered is decreasing from 3 to 2. On the rogue side of things, this is great, what it should have been at launch. Minutes spent playing Shanties is decreasing from 60 to 15. Grog's Port is decreasing from 75 to 30. Minutes spent sleeping is decreasing from 60 to 5. 60 to 5, that's a massive one there. Minutes spent sitting is decreasing from 60 to 10. The Ill-Fated. Trips to the Ferry of the Damned is decreasing from 25 to 15. Minutes spent in Storms is decreasing from 60 to 15. Minutes spent on Fire is decreasing from 60 to 5. Buckets Bailed is decreasing from 100 to 50. And Time Sunk is decreasing from 25 to 15. Okay, so then we get on to the changes being made to Ship Milestones. Look at them here. The Gold Seeker is exactly the same. The Voyager, by the looks of things, is also exactly the same. The Emissary is exactly the same. The Hunter, though, provisions cooked aboard is decreasing from 125. Provisions eaten aboard is decreasing from 225 to 50. And then again, all variants of fish caught are decreasing from 25 to 10. The Feared, cannons fired aboard is decreasing from 200 to 75. Ghost ships vanquished again, 25 to 15. And then the rest are the same. There were no sharks vanquished by crew, 90 to 20. The rogue is almost exactly the same. Grog's port is decreasing from 150 to 30. A minute spent sitting aboard is decreasing from 60 to 20. The ill-fated. Times damaged is decreasing from 100 to 50. Minutes spent in a storm is decreasing from 60 to 15. Minutes spent on fire is decreasing from 60 to 5. Repairs made by crew is decreasing from 50 to 25. Buckets bailed by crew is decreasing from 200 to 50. And time sunk is decreasing from 25 to 50. So understandably, there's a lot of questions surrounding these. What happens to classes I've already earned? In cases where we've decreased a requirement, you'll see an increase in your class. However, should this make you eligible for an automatic reward, for example, the captain's logbooks, please note that you'll need to earn one more class in that alignment for the unlock to take place and you will not see a pop-up telling you the reward was unlocked, so be sure to double-check your ship customization chest. For rewards purchased in the shop, if the changes have pushed you over the eligibility threshold to buy one, you'll need to progress by one more class for it to correctly show as unlocked. In cases where we've increased a requirement, you'll see a decrease in your class. Any rewards you've already unlocked will stay unlocked. If you had already crossed the threshold that unlocked the ability to buy a reward as a result of your progress, this will remain unlocked for you. Again, thank you for all your continued support on Sea of Thieves. These changes are now live in the game, and we hope you find the milestone system to be more balanced and enjoyable while still being a true expression of your crew and their deeds. See you on the seas! And there we go, that is the article. 
So, some major balance changes there. Not only decreasing classes, which we really needed, but also increasing summon. As mentioned there, they're now live, so go check them out. Um, yeah, my guide to the alignments are definitely be outdated. Um, <laughs> well, anyways, we'll have to see what the new best ways to level up all of these are. But anyways, definitely a positive direction for Sea of Thieves. That does show up bring us to the end of this very long video, though. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please do consider leaving a like. It really supports the channel a ton. And subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news as and when it comes out. And why not hit the bell as well? And do leave a comment let me know in your, your thoughts about these new balance changes. Do you think they're positive or negative? But anyways, apart from all that, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.